right. We have another caller or back to yeah. oh yeah. caller uh, caller on line two. Sorry to keep you holding. Hi, uh, this is Darlene West from the state of Connecticut Office of the Healthcare. Yes. Advocate. Hey, first of all, woo! We <laughs> plug the Office of Healthcare Advocate, uh, Maureen Smith, a colleague and friend of mine, right. uh, Victoria Veltri. Great people. Yes. Um, I have in the studio, and thank you very much for your time. No problem. Um, I know you're busy, so we'll keep it short. You can find us on WATR.com. Mm-hmm. Um, we have a link to our YouTube page. We plug the Office of the Healthcare Advocate, OHA, all the time. The reason being is you care about people like this show is set up to do. Absolutely. You, I mean, this gentleman, and, and I'm going to give it back to you, Norman. You have the Office of the Healthcare Advocate. Love you, Maureen. Thanks. I knew you'd make this happen. Okay. This is the watchdog for us. They um, listen to your complaints. They go to the insurance company or the carrier, and they fight as an advocate for the people. Norman was enrolled mm-hmm. in 2009, and I love United Healthcare. I would never throw them under the bus. But for two and a half hours, we were on the conference call with them. Anthem does this. uh Aetna does this, so it's not a carrier thing here. This gentleman is intelligent. He's a retiree from Walmart, had credible coverage through Walmart, had credible coverage letter, so he shouldn't have gotten a penalty. Right. He called up the carrier, and I'm going to turn it over to him in two seconds, but just let me give you the scenario. Okay. Called up the carrier for basic information, and he wrote a beautiful letter, which we forwarded to your colleague, and he said in the letter, there's no way I would ever enroll over the phone. Like, I would have known if, if mm-hmm. someone had actually given me a fair chance and said, do you realize you're being enrolled, sir, for insurance over the phone here? And he was enrolled. They enrolled him. Now he goes to one of my seminars. I'm lucky enough to give seminars throughout the country. Goes to one of the seminars and finds me and my coworkers intelligent, comes to the office, enrolls. And then all of a sudden, it's an MAPD versus a Medicare supplement, which you can't have both. Right. And then they tell us he's already enrolled with us through another Medicare supplement, and he owes back premium. Since 2009, the gentleman never got a bill, never got an insurance card, and is now being told by customer service people on a conference call with me and my staff. And Jean, i got to give her credit, knocked this out. She did all of it for two and a half hours one night. Into the night. We were almost there until like a quarter to six. Um, okay. So let me turn it over to Norman. Norman, you've got the Office of Healthcare Advocate on the phone. No names for HIPAA reasons unless you want to give your name, which is great. Um, take it away, Norman. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, Norman. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Okay, so they're the people who are going to fight your case. Explain it to them. Okay, so... When when um, I I called the insurance company and found out that I had this balance and I told them you know I I thought it was something else and I thought it was this late penalty right and uh, you know they said no it's not a late penalty it's it's for premiums for you for you having enrolled in two in two thousand and nine. And I told him, I said, I didn't enroll. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyway, we went round and I went round and round with somebody. And then I said, you know, I really don't have a balance. Uh, and I'm going to hang up now, which I did. <laughs> then I called Jean and told her. Mm-hmm. And she's from uh, G.S. Reagan and Associates. And we were on the phone for two and a half hours. First with. Uh, no names. One customer service people. Customer service person. We don't throw people under the bus. And we okay. we, could, we couldn't uh, you know we couldn't get any satisfaction there. All she's doing is she's reading something, and and, and basically I, we knew that because we in you know asking questions or trying trying to uh, trying to get some other information. She's basically just repeating what she had said. So I, I said finally, I said, you know, can I speak to a supervisor? So we get a supervisor on the line who does basically the same thing. Uh, the long and the short of it was we were on the phone for two and a half hours. All she did was say the same thing over and over in a different way. Uh, and, you know, there, I, I try to explain them that I never got a bill. 
because if I would have gotten a bill, I would have called the insurance company and said, what is this for? Right. I never got an ID card. If I would have gotten an ID card, I would have called the insurance company and said, what is this for? When you call the insurance companies and you try to talk to these people. And and rationalize, you know, in a fair manner. Right. Uh, You know, all they do is read what somebody else has typed, and that then becomes the gospel according to United Healthcare or whatever insurance company you're talking to. You you can't, you know, they read something, and you cannot, number one, you cannot get a, a, a phone number to call somebody else back. You have to, every time you call them, you're starting from scratch. Norman, let me ask you a question. Please did they ever pay any claims, and did you were you ever able to get documentation of your quote unquote enrollment? No, no, they never paid any because I didn't. Number one, I didn't realize that I had been enrolled. Mm-hmm. I got other coverage, and which uh, which <clears throat> um, to the office of the healthcare advocate. If you're in a Medicare supplement, mm-hmm. you have to actually disenroll yourself legally either on the phone or in writing, in order to go into a Medicare Advantage prescription drug. Right. CMS will not allow it if you have one. So, A, that's the first point. B, the second point is this gentleman didn't really do it to do it. He did it just for information. Right. And then... He needs your help. So I'm going to hook you guys up. I'm going to plug you again, Office of a Healthcare Advocate. Okay. Um, your your first name? Darlene. Darlene, awesome job. Um, is it okay if we put uh, just your name on the YouTube page? Because we, we, we have a little Office of Healthcare Advocate, and we give your phone number, the 1-866-466-4446. And then we would say, you know, on the line, Darlene, with the Office of the Healthcare Advocate. Is that all right? That is okay. fine. I will have you two off the air discuss it. We've gotten enough out of you. You rock, Darlene. Please tell my friends no uh, Victoria and Maureen I say hello. I will do that. And um, I will have you guys on again as your own show, a special hour, and on the YouTube page. And we'll make a uh, YouTube page dedicated directly for you so that you can send people to your YouTube page to show how great you are and what you do. Wonderful. Yeah, I sincerely appreciate this time. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you, my Darlene. Pleasure. You're welcome. All right, my friend. We are going to move on to the next subject. I have to say thank you so much. Thank you. Please wait for me so I can at least just see you after the show. Okay. All right. We um, we got that resolved. I hope you think that was important because I do. All right. That do. was productive. All right. On to the next subject. Listeners out there, case closed. Don't enroll over the phone. Enroll from good, hard workers like me or Gene who work six days a week. No longer seven, honey. I promise. Um, went to New York City this week and had a great time. Um, she loves she loves when the when the busy season's over. All right, we're gonna have producer Nick on to plug the YouTube page. Tom, should we take a commercial break? Yeah, let's rock a commercial break. Then we're gonna be back straight through the rest of the, the uh, hour.